sea. Born and you know, born and bred in the southwest of England, I like the sea. I like looking at the sea. I miss the colour blue and the colour green. I've flown sea kings for a number of years now. First flew in 1985, so it's like a comfortable old shoe to me. The 854 Naval Air Squadron uh, are part of the Sea King detachment here. They're the last of the Sea King detachment, uh, and they've been under 903 Expeditionary Air Wing uh, for about five years now. They're mainly involved in uh, flying operations in RC Southwest, which is in the Helmand area. It's totally different to what we're used to. It's a whole different set of skills we need to learn. And it's been interesting from that perspective, working with different forces. And it's different to what we usually do on board ships. I think everything that we do here is a joint and a coalition effort, so it's been fantastic to have the Navy uh, working as part of the wing, uh, but that's what we do, and we do it on operations everywhere around the world. For five years or so, they've been operating from here. They've flown nearly 2,000 missions, about 9,000 hours on operations, uh, supporting forces on the ground, vital operations on the ground here in Helmand. Distinguished guests, fellow RC Southwest Coalition members, Joint Force Support Alpha, and most importantly, the 854th. Congratulations on a job well done, and it's truly a privilege for me to participate in your departure ceremony. I won't say into mission because I know a platform of this caliber, uh, there will be many more missions for you to fly wherever your nation asks you to participate in. The Royal Navy has been an integral part of the UK's joint force out here in Afghanistan. Um, and of course we see the, the end of that contribution here with the departure of 854 Naval Air Squadron. But that contribution has come at a price. 59 Royal Marines have lost their lives and many others have been injured fighting here in Helmand Province. And we recognise the courage, dedication and ultimate sacrifice uh, of those Marines. And we are indebted to their families. Royal Navy and Royal Marines personnel can be proud of their contribution to Op Herrick. It's a mixed emotions really, you know, we've, we've been here doing the stuff for five years and um, we, everything comes to an end, we've got to go back to the UK now and, and reconfigure for whatever the next adventure is going to be. To be honest, it's the little things, it's always hot and dusty and just miss the creature comforts of home really and family and my husband. The guys and girls are happy to be going home, some of them have been out here for a long time, we've got people here that were here, you know, five years ago, they were here at the beginning and now it's quite neat that they're here at the end as well. Uh, but yeah, everybody's really looking forward to, to packing up and, uh, and regrouping back at home before we uh, set off on the next trip.